say it's, it's only just become the first set piece. I think it always has been there as a, as a very important part of the game and it's something we work very hard on and, and, and make sure we try to get the ball back. It happens quite often in the game and obviously it normally when you're receiving a kickoff, it's after you score some points. So it's uh, vitally important that, that you get the ball back. It's vital that you know if you've scored points to make sure you get out of your half and uh, reapply the pressure on the opposition. When you've had points scored against you, it's vital that you, you put pressure on the, the opposing side. You get points, or you score a try, or you kick a goal. You you come back and and you get the kicked off. You have to get that right. You can't you can't give the the other team the ascendancy. You've got to make sure that you you turn a positive into another positive, and, and that's the way you build momentum in a game. And uh, you know that's that's why restarts have become so important. And you know the amount of work that the forwards especially, and uh, you know it's an, it's an unbelievable skill to to figure out where a ball's going and get a man up that far in the air to catch it. I, I know I couldn't do it, um, but. Yeah, it's, it's, it's drilled massively in our team. The way the game is now is quite often very tight, so, so play, playing in the right areas of the, of the field is extremely important and, and uh, we work very hard on sort of exits, getting out of our own 22 and getting out of our own half and, and things like that and, and that's obviously what, where the restart really comes into it. If you don't secure your ball there and you lose the ball there, it's, it's quite easy to, to be stuck in your half for quite a while after that. Obviously, if you conceded, you want to get, you want to get back on track as soon as you can and uh, you know, the restart's an opportunity to rather get the ball back or get some pressure on. Uh, as far as when we score, um, you want to make sure that you you don't allow them to do that. And um, you know, like I said, you make sure you make sure you get your restarts right, and you make sure you know if they go long, your exiting your exiting's good, and, and then the pressure gets back on them. From the restart, they've advanced 15 metres, and they have the throw into the line out. So effectively, that's a pretty good restart result. The the stats that have been shown is is a lot of tries are being scored off off um, kick returns. So what you do is you go and you pressurise the opposition, they kick badly, then it lands in the hands of, of your, your Fodens and your Browns and those sort of guys who can, can really open up defences. So it's something we obviously prepare um, a hell of a lot, um, but also just making sure that all the players understand it. Because, um, you know, team under pressure, um, you know, points, points come with that. We have a couple of unit sessions a week, uh, and in that unit we'll cover uh, line out scrums and restarts. So, so we'll get a fair bit of work in there. There's a, a lot that goes into that is sorting out. Obviously, uh, different people lift, lift you all the time, and there's obviously different jumpers in different parts of the pitch. And you also look at what the opposition do, um, whereabouts, whereabouts they are likely to kick, um, so we can try and accommodate that. What's your specific role? You often claim a few. What's your role out on the pitch? Uh, at, at the moment for England, I'm normally in, in the wider channel by the touchline. Um, I'm a jumper there, um, so I normally get sort of a slightly flatter, wider kick more towards the touchline. Are the broad options to go long or to go short and compete for yourselves, are they the, the two main ones? And when do you decide in a game which of those to choose? I think it's just having having everything in your armoury. It's it's depending how, what sort of picture you see. Um, you know, if they they've got tall backs, you don't go to the backs. If you've got if they've got a short winger, you, you know, you might be able to go to a, a Luther Burrell or a, a Johnny May who's good in the air. So. It's, um, it's pretty much seeing the picture um, and then going accordingly, but everybody be on script and everybody understand what their roles are. Obviously, if you kick short, you're normally kicking onto a pod, so you're kicking onto a, a lifted pod, and obviously if that happens and the, and the pod go up well and get the ball, you obviously can't touch that pod, so you, they can form quite a good uh, good sort of position against you. Uh, but if you kick long, obviously, you're, you're kicking long and they get to run back at you. So it's sort of a, a combination of quite what you want to do in the pitch and, and where you want to play. You, you don't want to give the opposition any, you know, and, and if um, if you have a poor restart, you're receiving, and you have a poor restart, or you have a poor kick, um, you know it puts you on the back foot straight away. So it's making sure that you turn that pressure into into points, and, and um, you make sure you get out of your half. How important is that first one in the game as well? Obviously, setting the tone for for the team. How important do you think is getting that first one right? Yeah, I think we saw it in France. I, I, I obviously missed, missed the one in France, um, and then a minute later with a bounce of the ball, and we were under our own post. So. So yeah, we understand, and I think everybody understands how important collecting your restarts are, and especially if you've got one first up, it's uh, it's something you learn about so probably about 20 minutes before kickoff. You know whether you're kicking or receiving, and especially the second row, you really need to get your head on it. It's like as you say, it's your, your third set piece, so it's making sure we get that right, um, especially at the start of the game, uh, making sure we we take the pressure off ourselves if we're receiving. So um, yeah, we spend a fair time on it.